Hey everybody, <laughs> it's the boss lady here coming to you today from my vehicle. Um, just dropped off Miss Peanut at work and now I am getting ready to head home so I can finish dinner. Praise God. Um, I know throughout the states, certain states, certain areas is getting hit with weather. Uh, whether it's tornadoes, whether it's snow. Oh my goodness. Um, we did get a little dusting, you know. Um, I guess the big stuff is coming. It's coming is what they keep telling us. But I'm not going to complain, okay? You see, I still got the diva out. The diva's still diva. She's just doing her thing. Got a lot of compliments on my hair, too. I was like, okay. But this is the error of people who just love um, natural hair. So, you know, and of course people ask me, what do you do? What do you do? And, and you know, I had people tell me, I try to wear my hair like that and I look like a, a poodle. And I was just like, I remember those days. <laughs> and let me tell you, this is one of my dry times, okay? It's, a girl is good and dry. I mean, curly is all outside, but dry. I mean, well, I say dry, but she's actually very moisturized. Anyway, anyhow, that's not what this video is about. Go ahead, little child just walked all in front of my car with no regards of how much this car weighs compared to how much he weighs, okay? Anyway. <laughs> so I wanted to give a quick update. Uh, we will be going, I told you, uh, we have a couple things for the house that we are planning to purchase. One of them being a brand new toilet. We will be purchasing the toilet this coming weekend. So I'm happy about that. Uh, some blessings rained down and I was like okay Holy Ghost I, I appreciate you so as the blessings come we will handle the business I will tell you though the devil <laughs> I will give him his props because he knows my weakness he knows I love to shop he knows I like a good deal but I'm going to use that weakness for my benefit. Do you hear me? So while the devil think he had me, he don't. Um, Cause yes, I was in Walmart child, so I was 75% off. And my whole little heart was like, oh, I was sticking to my husband like glue. My husband wanted to take me to Hobby Lobby, child. I was like, uh-uh, no, I can't do it. I just, I know my willpower. So if I know that that's a weakness of mine, I'm just gonna stay away. Right, right. Um, even as far as like eating out, um, you know, we went to the grocery store and boss man pretty much, he crafted the menu for the week and your girl has been cooking since Saturday, like for real, for real. Um, now that's not to say that we won't eat out, but I'm not trying to eat out two or three times a week. Because that has been known to happen in boss land two to three times a week. Like, seriously. Like, like Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, shoot, sometimes Sunday. Nobody got time for all that. That's too much money. All that money I could be using to buy my toilet, put towards my washing machine, and whatever else I want to, you know. So, yeah. And who knows? If, if the blessings keep raining down the way they're raining... I might be able to get my stove too. So, you know, and then we just have to focus on the fridge for next year. So I'm I'm not gonna speak too soon, but I know God's got it. So, and if he's got it, I'm gonna get it. Um, but here's the other thing, the reason why I turn on the camera. So I told you guys I'm doing a devotion, uh, spiritual financial path plan, and y'all today. Ooh, ooh, excuse me. So, you know, one of the one of the days so far, we have talked about, you know, like tithe, tithes and offerings, you know, and that's, you know, giving your 10% to the storehouse and, you know, and then just elaborating on that, like, don't just stick to the 10%, stuff like that. Okay. Well, today, y'all, when I tell you I felt that conviction all down in my <laughs> shanana, as they say, Baby, let me tell you. So, he got to talking about, um, you know, having more than enough. And what are you doing with it? You got so much that you have no room for it. 
you know and so and I put the scriptures in because I can't remember them verbatim off the top of my head because I read read them early this morning like I read them at six o'clock this morning it's now 3 38 so yeah I can't remember because you know I've done about a hundred thousand things between then but I put the scripture in of what he was um where the scripture came from but what it made me think about was um you know like my Christmas stuff so and that's why I said I don't need to buy nothing else Christmas related because I got more than enough to the point where I have nowhere to put it like seriously like my storage closet in the upstairs of my house full okay my basement I have more buckets than I can count and then everything that I either purchase or that was up in the the house for decoration it's still in the dining room like I have what five tubs four storage bags and a cube and I still have stuff not actually put away so when I say I have more than enough I have more than enough so you know and I, I want to say it talked about you know well, which, what can you do with it you know you got all this stuff you have nowhere to put it it's not like you can take it with you you know what I mean and so I got to thinking about that really hard today and I'm like yeah it's time it's it's truly 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 time for me to get rid of stuff like seriously get rid of stuff because I have nowhere to put my new stuff I can't even take my new stuff to the basement I went down there because I was going to take some some of the buckets down I have nowhere to put the stuff and I'm just like OMG so um, that just tells me that I have been blessed beyond measure and I need to now turn around and bless others and not so much oh well I just want to hold on to this oh I might do this theme again and blah 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 now there's certain things like my red and black buffalo check that's kind of a newer theme so I know I'm not getting rid of that you know all my Santa Claus stuff I definitely not getting rid of that you know but like I have like I think I told you I still have like my purple and gold um theme I still have my blue and silver theme um that stuff has to go. I mean, it just it just has to. I mean, I have stuff like I was getting it, but it's kind of like miscellaneous. It's just it's got to go. Just as well as I have, I don't even know how many trees are in the basement right now. Um, well, I have two that are still upstairs. They're small, so I have one, two. I have a brand new tree, five foot tree, haven't been open, right? So that's three. Big Bertha, that's four. My mother-in-law's tree, that's five. Bertina, that's six. Benzo, that's seven. Bentley, that's eight. And then I also have a three-foot tree, that's nine. I have two, um, the two small black trees, so that's 10, 11. I have 10, 11 Christmas trees in my house right now. Why? why i mean technically i could put a tree in every single room of the house and still have trees to spare like i could put trees in the bathroom and that's not even including like my little dollar tree trees you know some of them i got rid of i think but i'm just saying like trees of significant size from two feet on i have two feet all the way up to seven and a half feet trees yeah they gotta go i mean you know, Benzo, Bertina, and Bentley, they're probably not leaving no time soon. But, you know, like Bertina, not Bertina, Bertha, Bertha gotta go. I mean, I I would never use Bertha again. And I'm to the point now where if I was to ever move, I would just be getting a brand new tree anyway. I mean, like, let's be honest. So... Yeah, I mean, and you know, I know some people would be like, well, why don't you just kind of store your stuff out in the garage? The garage? That's boss man's domain. There ain't no way in the world I'm putting any of my Christmas stuff outside. So, no. Um, 
but I have buckets on top of buckets on top of buckets. I think I even have buckets that are not even red buckets with Christmas stuff in it. Where I think they're either black or black with a purple top or shoot, it might even be black with an orange top. I don't know. Because sometimes when I take down fall stuff and put up Christmas stuff, I will kind of interchange. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Ciao. But after reading that scripture today... I was like, oh, okay, Holy Ghost, I hear you. I hear you. It's time to purge. It's time to get rid of some things. Um, this is the year to do it. Um, and I will be off work for like a month in the summer. So more than happy to just go ahead and start. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go and look at the older buckets. Because like the newer stuff, I know what that is. You know, I have green and red. I have green and red, red and green all red, black and purple, black and orange. But anyway, so what I'll do is just kind of go to the older buckets. And if it's stuff in there that I'm not using, it's got to go. Whether I trash it or just get rid of it completely. But it's got to go. And, you know, I don't feel bad if I do trash some things because I've been getting stuff pennies on a dollar. So, you know what I mean? But, and then even... Even not just Christmas stuff. I mean, I was convicted when I was reading because I was thinking about the Christmas stuff. But I'm thinking about clothes. I'm thinking about shoes. I have shoes still that I haven't worn in probably five plus years. And I got rid of a lot of my heels. I think I got rid of all my heels except for maybe two two or three pair. But what's the purpose of having them if I'm not going to wear them? So, Yeah. And I got rid of a lot of clothes last year, but it's time to purge again. So um, that's definitely something I plan to do during spring break. Um, shoot, I might even do a little bit this weekend. Um, it'll give me something to do, you know. If I have clothes that I can donate, I would love to be able to donate. So um, one thing I might do, I was trying not to go to Dollar Tree. But I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and just get um, some garbage bags. And so, you know, it'll be smaller bags, but that'll be fine because then I can just drop the, the seat down. You know, it's a three-day weekend, so I can drop the seat down and then I can just fill the truck up and go and drop those off, you know. So that'll give me something to do as opposed to just holding on. Hold I mean, y'all, I have so much and it's like, why? There's people who need clothes. There's people who need shoes. Why hold on to it? It's got to go. It's got to go. It's got to go. My God. So that's what I've been working on, trying to figure out, okay, so I have a three-day weekend this weekend coming up. Then in February, I have another three-day weekend. And then I'm off for a, a week in April. Plus, I'm off in the middle of the week, um, the week after we, excuse me, <clears throat> the week after we come back for e EID, is, is it called ID, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, EID, but anyway, we're, I know we're off for that as well, so I have some time coming up and I need to execute it, especially because if I'm trying to go out of town, if I'm trying to travel or whatever, I don't want to have to be like either buying the same thing over and over or you know, buying excessively. So I want to be able to do a big cleanse. Um, that's even as far as like, um, I'm saying clothes, but even like negligees, is that what they call it? Lingerie, all that stuff. Some of that stuff is old, y'all. I done had it for 20 years, like before, well, Miss Peanut's going to be 17. So at least 17, 18, 20 years. So some of that stuff, it's got to go, right? So, you know, I mean, like holding on to t-shirts. Why? You know, mm -mm, I'm getting rid of stuff. I am getting rid of stuff. Purses, I got rid of a lot of purses. Um, but there's, I still have some that I can get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of my purses. And I, I saw something. But I don't plan to get it until after I do a thorough clean out. But I saw these cases. Um, I don't know if I want to do a shelving unit or if I want to do these cases. But I saw these cases where you can put your purses in there and they're like clear or something. If I find a picture, I will post it. But they're like clear cases that you can, you know, stack up. 
Um, and you can stack them how you want to, and you can put your purses in there. Um, either that, I'm looking at that, or maybe like a shelving thing. So I can have, you know, my purses, you know, on the shelf and stuff, because right now I don't have them the way I would like them. Like they're just kind of thrown here, thrown there. So, you know, it's time to, it's time to do some things, right? Um, as far as shoes are concerned, I don't really have many shoes anymore because of, my feet situation. Speaking of feet, how many of y'all remember, I want to say this is back in 2019, when I went on vacation, I came back and I was complaining about my feet hurting really bad. Y'all is doing it again. Um, I have plantar fasciitis, flat feet, whatever. But like, there's times where I get up from sitting down and my feet my heels are burning like they're just like it hurts i'm walking on my toes so you know before they gave me some orthotics that i hated and i really don't want to go that route again so that is a purchase that i will be making in february i'm still gonna hold true to, to january but in february i will be purchasing some um more comfortable orthotic type shoes um to help my feet because my feet hurt and you know I don't walk around because the one thing they said was don't walk around barefoot so I don't I either have my Crocs on or I just got some new um sketcher slippers I got those for next to nothing too um last month so I wear shoes all the time in the house like only time my feet are bare is when my feet are up in the recliner or bed or whatever. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so that's what's <laughs> the dog hears the turkeys. Look at him, you big dog too. Can you see him? No, oh, that's the Beethoven dog. He done got small. He used to be bigger than that. We used to have to kind of get after that neighbor because he would just let his dog, he would literally walk his dog from the, because they live in the middle of the block. He would walk his dog to the corner, let his dog crap mm -hmm, outside my house, and then he would walk him back home. So we have a neighborhood, um, neighborhood uh, website, and I politely put him on blast. <laughs> he stopped that mess. <laughs> anyway. So, because at the time, I didn't know where he, you know, was or where what house. And I'm like, I'm not going to go down there because he's got this big old monstrous dog, right? But anyway, yeah. So, um, but yeah, he stopped that mess. That's the first time I've seen a dog in a super duper long time because dog had been missing action for a while. He done got small. Um, anyway, so the no spin... Oh, all right. Child, I'm up here trying to take my seatbelt off. But the no spin um, month is going great. I mean, it's only nine days in. But um, I just had to record to tell you, oh, my gosh, got a financial blessing. And so I'm like, okay, because, you know, normally if I get a financial blessing, I'm like, oh, let, let me go to Dollar Tree or let me go here and get me a little couple, two, three trinkets. Nope. Yeah, even, oh, my gosh. I have even been on Timu looking like, hmm, I can window shop all day. I just can't spend no money. So I'm like, okay. So I've been just kind of looking to see it. <sighs> I've actually been looking to see um, for a dress for my sister's um, wedding. So anyway, um, just looking at different things, but no shopping. I won't do that till maybe February, March. But anyway, um, because I need to know like colors. I'm not in the wedding, but you know, I want to still be comparable. I don't want to be coming up in there in a big old polka dot dress or something, and everybody's like, what? So, you know what I mean? But um, I'm just grateful that for the blessing to be able to go ahead and purchase the toilet this month. I thought we weren't gonna start purchasing stuff till like March, April, but he was like, Nope. I said, Okay. So yeah. So that blessing that I got, I'm still going to put that amount of money probably to the side. But, you know, if anything, I'll just put it into a different savings 
bucket. So, you know, the other two savings plans for the vacations, well, you know, might get a little more extra since we're already going to get the toilet or whatever. So, yes. So this blessing that I got this month, that will just um, be for the entire month of January for that particular savings plan. Yep. So I'm excited. But anyway, let me go, guys. I got to finish my dinner. My husband's going to be home soon, and I want to make sure dinner is, like, close to being done. <laughs> got to get the oven up. I'm making turkey breast. Actually, it's the turkey without the legs and the wings on it. So, yeah. But it's turkey breast is what it's called. And then um, I'm making mashed potatoes and gravy, cornbread. I'm going to make some corn to cob. And I think that's it for today. So, and yesterday we had yellow rice, lamb chops, and mixed vegetables. Sunday, I had made a ham. Uh, well, Saturday, I made spaghetti with lamb meat. And then Sunday, we had some leftover spaghetti. So, I heated that up, cooked the ham, made some biscuits, and we had sweet potatoes. Oh, y'all, it was good. It was slamming. So, I'm like, every day, whatever's left over, just going to keep it rolling. So... Yes, but thanks for watching, everybody. Um, oh, and I, before I forget, thank you all for all your prayers for my, my kids. Please keep praying. Please keep praying. Thank you for your prayers for me. Um, once again, I'm not going to go into detail, but just I'm still praying that hedge of protection around them. Um, yeah, so just please, 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 if you will, continue to pray for my kids. And I thank you, and I'll continue to pray for you all. Have a good day. Bye.